Happy Easter Sunday, everyone. Today I'm going to be reading another morning devotion from the Faith Forward Family Devotional. Today's morning devotion is called Costly Love. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. 1 John 3.16 Angry soldiers and a large crowd surrounded Jesus. They took him to, Caph to Cephas, the high priest. The religious leaders wanted Jesus dead. They were furious he had claimed to be God's son and, promised, and the promised Messiah. When Pilate, the Roman governor, asked if he wanted, if he was the king of the Jews, Jesus simply said, you have said so, Matthew 27, 11. He had done no wrong. He never sinned. He was pure and perfect love being poured out for all. But the crowd shouted anyway, crucify him, crucify him, Luke 23, 21. The soldiers mocked him. When he was beaten and bruised, they put a piercing crown of thorns on his head. They made him carry his cross through winding, winding streets all the way to Golgotha, which means the place of the skull, Matthew twenty-seven thirty-three. And then they nailed him to the cross between two thieves. The weight of the world's sin was on him. He felt the presence of his father pull away. With one final blast of breath, he cried out, It is finished, John nineteen thirty. It was not a cry of defeat. It was a shout of victory. He had done his father's will. He took our place, was punished for our sin. He had paid the penalty we deserved. Now forgiveness and salvation were available for all. What a costly and beautiful love. A love willing to sacrifice. A love willing to do what is best for someone else. This kind of love is what we are called to carry into the hurting world. Key idea. Jesus paid the punishment we deserve. Our sin separates us from God, and because God is just, it must be punished. But out of love, Jesus took our place on, on the cross. He suffered not for his sin, but for ours. Instead of being punished for our sin, we are forgiven of our sin. Let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for not treating us like we deserve because of our sins. Instead of punishing us, you have forgiven us through your Son, Jesus. Help us love others with the same costly love. In Jesus' name, amen. If you want to hear the conclusion of the story, I will be putting a link to the He is Risen devotion at the end of this one. Thank you all so much for listening, and happy Easter Sunday.